Okay, hey guys, so today I wanted to make a short little guide on the basics of the Steam trading card system, how to collect Steam trading cards, how to craft badges, and how to level up on Steam. So you may notice my profile, there's a lot of stuff going on in the top right corner, it says level 213, and then there's a bunch of display cases here, and there's also a background. Um, your profile, if you're new to Steam, probably looks something like this. Very plain, no display cases, and no background. And it's all related to your Steam level. So going back to here, I'm going to start explaining how, how the Steam level works. Basically, you earn Steam levels by gaining experience. To get experience, you have to craft badges for various games. To craft badges, you need Steam trading cards. Every game comes with a set of Steam trading cards that you're going to need to collect in order to make a badge. So there's two ways to start earning Steam trading cards. The first way is to simply play Steam games with trading card eligibility. So for example, this is Dishonored 2. In the bottom right corner, you can see that this game supports Steam trading cards. So if you decide to buy this game and you start playing it, you will start earning trading card drops for free. They'll just randomly drop as you play through the game. And after around two to three hours, you will earn all the drops available. Unfortunately, you won't get enough to craft a full badge. It typically only gives you around half the set. So most games have a set of five to six trading cards. And if you own the game and you play the game, you'll receive about three trading cards. So you'll never receive the full set by simply playing the game. You'll only receive about half. And you can see what games you are eligible to get card drops for by going to your badge page. Um, so here is my badges, just click on this. And as you can see here, I have no card drops remaining on all of these games, but I do have card drop remaining on some of these games. So this game here, if I decide to play this game, I will receive a trading card drop after about 30 minutes to an hour or so. So that's one way to get trading cards, and unfortunately, since you're only getting half the set, you're going to have to find a way to get the remaining cards in the set. One way is to trade with other people. That way is kind of difficult just because most people don't own the same cards as you do. The other way is to buy them off the Steam Marketplace. So this is the Steam Marketplace. You are able to buy and sell Steam trading cards through the Marketplace. So I can search any game right here. I can, just as an example, Dishonored 2 trading cards. And you will see the entire set is listed here and the price that they're being sold for. So Dishonored 2 has eight cards in the set. If I purchase one of each one of these cards, I would be eligible to make a badge. And an easier way to complete card sets is to simply go to your badge page and you'll see a list of incomplete card sets. So for example, um, here's one I haven't crafted yet, Girl Amazon Survival. And if I scroll down, you'll see a bunch of links that will go directly to the Steam Marketplace. So if I click on this link, it'll actually send me here, which I can just click on buy and I can purchase this card for four cents. And that is how you complete card sets. So you just purchase all the cards in the set. And once you have a full set, you're eligible to make a badge. So now that I have all the cards for Girl Amazon Survival, I'm gonna go ahead and create a badge. All you have to do is click this button here and it'll send you to this page. And as you can see, I have one card of each card in the set. I'm just gonna go ahead and create the craft badge. And the badge has been crafted. So every badge you craft, you earn 100 experience. You earn a badge for, the, for that game along with a title. So this is Girl Scouts Experience 100 XP for the game Girl Amazon Survival. You earn a background, a emoticon, and a coupon. As I said before, you can actually put these backgrounds on your profile and you can use these emoticons um, to chat with friends or to just post on your profile. And I also got a coupon for uh, this game. I'll have to check that out later. So a 90% off coupon, which I can use in the Steam store. Um, so moving back to my profile here. So unfortunately I didn't level up, but when you do level up, you earn five new friend slots and you also earn a new display case every 10 levels. So level 10, level 20, level 30, you're going to be earning a display case. Display cases like shown on my profile are things like this. This is an artwork showcase. This is a favorite group showcase. This is a game collector showcase, badge collector, achievement, uh, custom info box, favorite game, screenshot, and there's 
others that you can uh, have displayed on your profile for other people to see. So it's kind of cool, a cool way like to add cosmetic flair to your profiles. And you also get your Steam level up and Steam level kind of earns you some respect with the community. And finally, every 10 Steam levels, you will receive a higher chance at getting a Steam booster pack. Booster packs are a collection of three cards that will just randomly be sent to your inventory for free and you can sell these cards to make a profit or you can keep them to craft additional badges. So every 10 levels you're going to have a higher chance at receiving these booster packs that just randomly get dropped every so often. For me personally, being level 200 and something, um, I get a booster pack around every two to three days. Most people receive booster packs around every seven to 14 days. And, well, I could be off on that, but it's somewhere around there. And basically booster packs are just free profit, which is a nice little addition. So essentially the higher the steam level you are, the more booster packs you're gonna get. And you can easily just sell those booster packs on the market and receive a little bit back. So before I go, I just wanted to mention that next week I'm gonna be making another guide that'll show you a different method in collecting Steam trading cards for an extremely low cost. So until then, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I hope this guide has helped you and have a nice day.